I said hello. And welcome to Don't Say Cunt. The After Midnight Edition. <laughs> ah. All right. Yeah, everyone everyone, loosen your ropes. Yeah. Uh, this is Don't Say Cunt. I'm... 724. Uh, yeah, I'm... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Feels like midnight. That's after mid. Well, seven twenty-four a.m. is after midnight. midnight. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. Isn't everything technically after midnight? Yeah, pretty somewhere, much. Somewhere, somewhere. And before midnight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. everything is everything, and nothing is everything, and everything is nothing. You're hearing Dave. And Cole I'm now a cult leader. <laughs> <laughs> is that I'm what, now I'm now Eckhart Tolle. Is that That's why I'm wearing I these am. running shoes? Yep. <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> um. Here on Don't Say Cunt, as you may be aware, and if you're not aware, then uh, this is then this very whole thing is startling to you, because <laughs> I don't know how you would just stumble on it. You got to really search it out yeah. and then press a button. That was a huge mistake. You can't. It's I not like it's, your the internet doesn't have like just a tuning dial where my, you can accidentally my, listen to our show. Mine does. Does it? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Is yours? Yes. Does your yeah, it's does, like a box. does your computer have shortwave? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And it's woo, 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 whatever I try to find stuff to yeah. listen to. Yeah, and you keep getting the internet. Yeah, yeah, and you pick up Winston Churchill every once in a while. Sometimes, yes, oh. his speeches are fantastic. Yeah, you know they really rally the nation. Yeah. We have nothing to feed but feed itself, right? <laughs> yep, yep. That's what kept them calm because the English were just always worried about their feed. Always hungry. What yeah. did he say? Did he say feed? No, he said <laughs> mead. We've got to fear mead. Yeah. yeah. I like mead. No, no, you got to fear it. That's what Winston says. All right, then. I'll fear you my mead and my feed. <laughs> Get indoors, then. Yeah. <laughs> Get right and, indoors and lay down. Yeah. It'll pass. And, of course, that uh, fresh fresh from her stint of feeding the pigeons <laughs> in Trafalgar Square. <laughs> That's Jack, Jackie, <laughs> Jackie, Jackie, Jackie Harris Greenberg. You might remember her. Pigeon. From On the Buses. <laughs> yes. That's right. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me down here and do a bit of a run of On the Buses soon. And <laughs> now, and again, here on, on, on Don't Say Cunt, uh, Fake Limey, um, yeah. we, uh, we promised uh, um, the American listener, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, who you may, this may startle you, you may want to sit down. Right, I'm sitting down. You may want to lay yeah. down. All right, I'll lay you down. May, you may want to, you may want to, you may want to go to sleep. I won't go to sleep. All right, yeah. all right. Uh, Americans don't like the word cunt. No. See, it's a good thing you were lying. Like it's a good thing you were lying down and asleep, or you would have I been know. horribly I'll startled. I'll be shitting myself up every night. Yep. Yeah. They don't. So what we do oh, here? That's a good word, isn't it? What we do here? Yeah, it's one of the best words. Yeah, it's a cunt. I mm. believe uh, the Guinness Book of World Records uh-huh. declared the word cunt the number one word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's actually yeah, 1997's favorite word. Yeah. 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 Holds the record in the Guinness Book of World Records. Holds the record for most word. <laughs> yep, <laughs> word that is most useful. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, but Americans don't like it. No. We, li- we live in America. Turns them off. Turn. Yeah, that's I true. Say. Yeah, like turns them off. Yep, and turns uh, everybody uh, else on. Yeah, yep. but turns them off. That's right. I'm Paul, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> and I'm Dave. I'm Dave Foley, and that was and Paul, the Paul in question. Yeah. And he is in question. <laughs> is Paul Greenberg? I'm. I'm a. I am a question. You are. Yeah. Yeah. It's like why is you're the original model for the question mark. That's right. Yeah. And shoot, that's why my body looks that way. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I don't want to tell you what the pod, the bottom ball part is. No. I don't want to talk about yeah. that. In Spanish, you have to be the beginning and the end of the sentence. Oh God, it's no. exhausting every time I go on vacation. Yeah. And um. And we, we already we covered Jackie. Right. Uh, Jackie Harris uh, yeah. There's some piano playing going on. Uh huh. That, that would be Yvonne Schlatan. Yvonne Schlatan. <laughs> famous German piano uh-huh. tinkler. Uh, and by, by tinkler, I mean he actually mm-hmm. pees on mm-hmm. the piano. Yes, yeah. Uh, but very, very, very precisely and creates beautiful yeah. arpeggios with his urine stream. He's punting the funts, yeah. as we used to call that type of playing. Yep. He's punting the funts. Back, back, uh, that is, of course, th- those, are the, those are the terms you used to use in your English boys' school. That's right. Where I was British in a boys' school. See, I can do it too, Jackie. 
<laughs> yeah. That was uncanny. Uh, yeah. I, Hello, I, I Goblin. Oh, that was like a that was like a trip to old blind. Yeah, I had to look at where I was. I thought, oh, oh my god, was... did I teleport to England? Hips, sorry, what and all that? I, yes. You know what? I uh, heard I heard pop, that. Pop your snibble. You I heard that. And bloody... I, I tried to go up to the upper deck for a smoke, and there wasn't one, and I fell off the building. <laughs> Oh, you got the plim the primble, do you, part of the assignment? Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh. Stop, you know, the Wallace. You better get out of here. You see him morning? Paul, you better you better stop before Professor Higgins tries to t- make you a lady. Oh, God. <laughs> Go sop your billy, you know, see him on Wally, but yeah. Yes, sir, and quad. And last, last, <laughs> last to the British accent. <laughs> Was Chrissy Guerrero, our producer. That's me. And, and me, Miss. I mean, that's... <laughs> that's I don't know how to say that. Yeah. Right. Stop it, Dave. Well, you I don't know how to say that in English. What? How do I say that in English? In English? That was me. Paul's Paul's speaking swivel. a different language. Oh, I'm not. You probably swivel. <laughs> you probably <laughs> swivel up your nose. Uh, send me a nose away. <laughs> probably swivel you met the queen. That was Paul's audition for Call the Midwife. <laughs> Where Paul was up for the role of a fetus. Yes, where? Where? Stay on the baby. Oh, so you kick his belly. Oh, so you belly a little up and said, Mom, no, puppy. Not big fan of abortion this night. Let me stay. Please, please, sir, let me stay. I'm well past 20 weeks. Oh, he's a nice little devil, isn't he? My oh. 80, 20, 21 week. I've got yep. the body of a squirrel, I do. Yep. But I'm still a baby. And I'm a good baby, I am. <laughs> well, but I am a Democrat, so I like to kill babies. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to kill it. <laughs> oh, he got out of me. Got out of me, pussy. Don't kill Take him. down. Thank God he's still tied to the umbilical. Help, help. Trying to kill me, Doctor. Reel him back in and kill him. Trying to kill me, baby. Yeah. And that's why you. That's why you should vote Republican every day. And some number one. And some da. Some up the cinema. We don't usually get did so you, political on did the show. Study? Did you study? Did you study with a dialect coach? Go. In boot our dip. You said you were You got a ball light. <laughs> yes. Said the Queen's English shell. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen has been blitzed. Yes, just by the Queen's English. You don't mind. You don't mind, do you? You don't mind, is it? Is it? She won't walk. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, God. I wish I could see the dictionary. <laughs> oh. Pimbly what? What's a pimbly what? Pimbly what? Sit on that mouse on my head. Put it up your hand, you know, Selwyn. You know what's weird? Femin the poises. He's saying <laughs> words that, to me, I associate with, like, there was a school in Montreal that was a private school called Selwyn House. Selwyn um, House? You know? Yeah. yeah. And you just said <laughs> Selwyn. I went to Selwyn House. I was a graduate at Selwyn House. Oh, my God. What did they were they? They wore jackets. People? No, but it was in West Mountain. They wore jackets. Oh, I dated a boy. I dated a boy one time. Mm. I went to the with the debate team from Whore. my. I was. <laughs> I did. I went from my whore school, yeah. my school where it was all you know drugs and whores. That was us to uh, to there. And I wore um, high waisted, um, really like. What do you call that? Higher than those? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Higher than these. Yeah. Striped with matching with my best friend. That was like the, the, the jeans they used to wear that like actually covered your nipples. <laughs> they were like cigarette right. jeans. Yeah. Or them. or in my world, it's called jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I wasted. Cigarette jeans. Mm. Mm-hmm. Dave, how did you... Did you always wear jackets? Um, and carry coffee when you were a child? Yes. I. Uh, yeah. I have... Uh, uh, you know, I didn't start drinking coffee till I was Four 17. Four years old. Oh. 17, 17, that's about right. Yeah. Because I got a job in a restaurant, and uh, mm-hmm. and uh, there was always uh, big urns of coffee. Right. Free. And it was, you didn't have time to make tea, which is what I drank until then. Right. Because um, my mother used to, my mother was English, yeah, and therefore, was. Uh, therefore had no concept of how to behave. <laughs> <laughs> and so she would give us tea in a baby's bottle when Excuse I was me? very little. 
I would drink tea from a baby's bottle. Oh. Sweet tea with okay. lots of milk in a yeah. baby's bottle. Milk and sugar. And uh, Wow. I'm going to have that when I go home. That's where you have your teeth. They had a different idea about what was healthy Mm. back then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Did she put you to sleep with bourbon and stuff like that? (laughs) Gin. Gin? Yeah, gin, yeah. (laughs) Of course. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Bourbon was something they drank in the colonies. Right. Mm -hmm. Your baby's feeling a little warm. It's a bit off. Give Give it it a gin toddy. Yeah. Lemon, yeah, and a cigarette to smoke. <laughs> wow, as a baby, <laughs> as a nerves. baby, well, nerves. you'd give them, you'd, you'd put it in a cigarette <laughs> holder. You wouldn't be an animal about it. Did your mother ever say the c word? Uh, my mother, no, I don't think, no, no, I don't think she ever did. At- oh, but then again. I don't think I can't recall her ever speaking to did me. Did your dad? <laughs> my, my dad said all the time. Yeah. He did, mm-hmm. like with you around. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, we're called gonna... me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Well, yeah. fuck you, daddy. <laughs> um, one of those. We're gonna, t- we're gonna take a little brief uh, pause here. In, um, I'm gonna call them festivities. Oh, oh I like that. Well, I don't I think. It, I don't think. One. I don't think there's. Like I don't. Party. I don't think there's any sort of international uh, board that could argue that it's not a festivity that we're having. No. Uh, I'm sure there's. So, one uh, oh well. Then before they tune in, uh, let's take a brief pause for a good or service that you may require. Hmm. Limes. That was surprising. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. Well, well, who doesn't li- need lime? The yeah. Lime Council. Well, you know what? It's, it's fitting in our in our Tribute to England show. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because the British, of course, uh, all known as Limeys. Limeys. Right. Because of their uh, love of limes. Mm. Because right. so they would uh, yeah, eat limes. Gym. Yeah, and they would take the limes on really? shipboard... Yeah. To mm. prevent uh, scurvy, scurvy, mm-hmm. and um, Bay pumps, and because the green, the green rind made their teeth look whiter. <laughs> oh wait, hang on. <laughs> okay, wait. I got to write this down. I didn't I'm know doing about this when the, I, go home. I didn't know about the teeth thing. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm yeah. totally. I want white that. teeth like that. Yeah. Yeah. Take the rinds. You just rub it on the teeth. Uh huh. Really? And the let acid. It, let let the acid the sit in. Yeah. 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 Wow. Where's the enamel? Like you've done this before. Yeah. Well, look at my teeth. Yeah. That's true. There. And um, yeah. The other thing is that uh, they didn't want to have scurvy. Now, uh, why didn't they want that? I don't know because if you've ever seen an Englishman with scurvy and an Englishman without scurvy, What's they're identical. The they're I didn't identical. Know. I can't see any difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but for some reason, they had a real they had a real aversion to to scurvy. Uh, I think mm. it's because of the word. Yeah. I had an uncle. Well, they didn't want to be a scurvy knave. Mm. That was one thing. I had an uncle who had pervy. <laughs> pervy? <laughs> hey, what is pervy? Uh, pervy? Oh. Pervy, pervy some That's kind of cat function. cancer. Well, it's pervy is also to do with Thinking lo- of parvo. Oh. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. Pervy but he was is a pervy, pervy uncle. Pervy is something an uncle gets. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. It's a, you know what? I believe it's viral. What's, what is it? Uh, that's what he what told does that me. Mean? What do you mean, pervy? Uh, well, if uncle. pervy is all of a sudden they need to bounce you on their knee. Yeah. <laughs> that's just called an uncle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. When they hug you. I hate to tell you, but I think your uncle had pervy. Uh, yeah. All my uncles? <laughs> mm-hmm. I think you're growing up. I think all your uncles had pervy. Wow, you're growing up nice and big. <laughs> oh my God, did you know my uncle? Wow. That's my uncle. <laughs> did any of them, they should have you, They should have considered getting inoculated against pervy. Mm-hmm. I didn't know there was an inoculation. Oh, yes, it's the 60s. I didn't know they still called them inoculations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that's a normal word, but I guess inoculation. Yeah, inoculation. that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, inoculation. Oh, yeah, inoculation. Is that a Canadian thing? What do they call it in America? Inoculation. What do you call it when? What do you, what do you call, call it? when you get inoculated? <laughs> what do you call it? I've forgotten sure. now. Well, it's, actually, it's actually vaccinated. 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 <laughs> vaccinated. vaccinated. That's vaccinated. That's the word. Yeah. All right, but it's inoculation. inoculated. I was inoculated you take on a the vaccine. Chesterfield. <laughs> See, that's what yeah, Brits have to do. Buy me, uncle. Buy me, uncle. Mother, pass the over. Bobby well, sad, Uncle Pervy. <laughs> my pervy <laughs> uncle inoculated me on the Chesterfield. Yep. Oh, Uncle, I don't want to come and sit with you on your Chesterfield. I've got to pass the over. <laughs> she sounds very mm. tiny. Yeah, I'm only wee. <laughs> I don't want to sit over there. On the divan. <laughs> Please. On the divan. On the divan. Not on the divan. Hey, let me get you a cup, Uncle. Yeah. Your, get gin. Dave, did your mother uh, speak in British? She did. She was. Um, I didn't. I wasn't aware <laughs> of it. I wasn't aware that my mom had an accent. But right. it was different from your father's accent. It was. It was less angry. 
um, <laughs> and sober. So those were two distinct uh, things. Right. So I right away, it's that different. Is. Yeah. I thought uh, that's just dad. Yeah. And, uh, but my mom, uh, yeah, I didn't realize my mom, my, when my mom's sister came to visit the first time, uh, actually, what, over in her niece, that was the first person who came with her niece. And she had the Stafford accent. And then I realized, What's, oh, my, my mom has that. Accent. Oh, a Stafford. Who we got? Oh, oh, good God. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Speak of the actual oh. devil. Are you kidding me? The worst Our person ever. Speak of the Our actual whole devil whole incarnate. Last episode was what? all oh. about We talked beer. about you at great what length. Are the, beer? All of America. What are the chances? Ladies beer? and, ladies By the and way, gentlemen. Just so you know. All the guests are surprise guests here. Dave and I are not aware. They of never know. Show We're never told. Ladies and gentlemen, in the room right now is a man whose name you will miss miss here. <laughs> in the last week's episode, Jay Kogan. Oh. Jay. Jay. That's right. Jay the whole. Well, Jay Kogan. The people on, uh, watching on YouTube will recognize me immediately. Yeah, that's right. right. As I walk in, uh, oh, uh, yeah, you, put we have, your ears you have on. to speak yeah, you that Put your okay. beer down, put your ears on, yeah. Jake. All right, now Mr. Hogan. Very Hogan. Pl- all right. Jake Hogan. You know, uh, visually, when people see me, they know exactly who I am. That's the thing about me, the thing that's right. amazing. Because yeah. <laughs> I was the bus driver in The Wrong Guy. That's right. The, oh, yeah. The legendary... And I say legendary because mm-hmm. no one's seen it. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I, there's I, only a legend that well, the I, was I think that technically movie. both people know that, that they see you. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so, but we, great movie, by the way. It, I mean, I must say, the wrong guy. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's a it's it's a movie uh, that bad luck, I think, is what is what damaged that. Why everybody doesn't know this movie? That That's was, what I think it is. And I was, I was not in it. Yeah. And yes. that. Mm-hmm. And, and I and I was. That was one of the problems. Right. Right. Hence the bad luck. Yeah. And can so, people can if, people if, find this movie today if they if they it's need available to. by on Kino Lorber video uh, in Blu-ray now. You can get it online on Blu-ray video. Oh. And basically, it it was a Hitchcock style yeah. movie. Would you, can, you say? Yeah. Would you say it was yeah. a Hitch? You made a Hitchcock movie. We made a parody. We made a, parody. Yeah. a parody of a Hitchcock movie. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah it was a thriller. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it was uh, with my, uh, myself, uh, Jennifer Tilly, and David Higgins, mm-hmm. yeah. Colm Fiore, uh, written oh, yeah. written by Jake, Hogan. <laughs> written by Jake Hogan, Jake Hogan. but also Dave Foley, Dave Foley. and David David directed Higgins. by and directed David by David Steinberg, That's David right. Steinberg, the legendary uh, Canadian uh, comedian and Canadian, all Canadian. great Canadians, all of us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wait oh, a wait. minute. That's not me. I'm wait not a, a, a Canadian. Do you, no, no. Do but you still like hanging out with Canadians, or did that kind of turn I do. you off? I do. I I love <laughs> hanging out with Canadians uh, a lot. And uh, you know, when we just recently had the anniversary of the moon landing, yeah, and I was what? so what proud. The uh, America uh, landed on the moon, but we couldn't have done it without the Canada the, the arm. The Canada arm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was very yeah. I was moved. They don't very talk well. about it a lot. No. Right, right. In 1969, the Canada mm-hmm. arm, wait, what? Do you now, think there was a single I'll Canadian you, involved in the moon landing? Anywhere? There was a, There was an entire team of them. What do you mean? In the, te- the, in the technical side of things, they uh, working at, uh, at ground control. Uh, cleaning, and, cleaning up. Cleaning no, stuff. they were uh, they were all of the uh, the uh, engineers and and uh, physicists that worked at, at the Avro company. I uh, now, s- now I saw this, this movie I, about I, the lady I, mathematicians. I say this because it's going to make Dan Aykroyd angry okay. again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the Avro Arrow was a uh, great jet. A, 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 it was the first supersonic fighter jet. From when? Designed in Canada mm-hmm. in the uh, early sixties. Oh, okay. it wasn't the first supersonic. Jet altogether was it? It was the first fighter, first fighter jet that was supersonic. They could go at supersonic speeds in the world. Yep, Did and Diego Canada scrapped it because America asked them to. Oh. Mm. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would do that too. I but all, the, but all, all of the scientists that worked at Avro <laughs> went to work at NASA. So mm. a lot, a lot of Canadians. I was just in Canada at the anniversary of oh, the so moon landing. About this. Yeah. So there was a yeah. lot of coverage of the Canadian mm-hmm. contribution. Well, I want to let all of you know. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of the show. I've listened to every episode wow. you have. of your. Yeah, well, you not have. the one that hasn't been released yet. No, no. Right. which you. I know. I don't know why you, you feature prominently that. in the I, one. I, I, when I, when I hear my name, I uh, I put it out online. I get very excited. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of critiques of the show. I have a lot of notes. fan pages. Notes. A lot of notes. Wow. Um, <laughs> I I will, en- you know what I enjoy most? Your fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Is, yeah. it is uh, pretty rugged. Yeah. Uh, Evan features very prominently in the fan fiction. 
<laughs> he doesn't gra- have a large voice here. I think I, think I look. I look. Okay. I think I look weird in the graphic novel. I'm just saying that now. You look yeah. the same. I know, which is weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all good. But for I, some, yeah, and you, you call Eben Schletter in the fan fiction uh, the Lady Slayer. Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because of both of his sexual prowess and his uh, <laughs> proclivity to kill them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only because he doesn't want them to have to live. With just the memory of his right. skill. He's doing them a favor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I understand it. It's like a creepy episode of Criminal Minds. Yeah. Like, uh, like yeah, like all episodes. <laughs> of Criminal Minds. Hey, come on, guys. All right. Don't harsh on my does your Does your wife insist on watching Criminal Minds when you're trying to sleep? Yes. Oh, uh, my all, God. All women yes. want to see murder shows yep. where yeah. men are killing their wives. <laughs> That's just all they want to watch all day long. I mean, look, I to be fair, it's, it's true, strangers it's killing wives, too, sometimes. No, it's no, mostly just, men. Usually the, what about, the wife uh, goes first. Do you guys watch Dateline? Of course. No. No. I do. Dateline? No. Not they they were the perfect much. couple. Like the weekend date line. Yeah. 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 yeah, of course Every, you do. Yeah. They I all do. do. All women. Well, I mean, I don't. I don't watch the well, real. I don't like the real stuff. No. I don't no, like no, they that. want drum, dramatic. It's got to have versions. the fantasy part yeah, for me. Yeah, it's got to have that. <laughs> mm-hmm. My wife is watching a lot of murder shows <laughs> every every night. Yeah. Aww. I know. I know. Brown's I don't, one of us. I don't yeah. like it. I still watch Teletubbies. Man, that's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You know that baby? Remember the sun baby? Yeah. Remember the beginning, that right. sun that baby? Right. Uh, that's, that baby just had a baby. Yeah, worst Criminal Minds yeah. episode ever, by the way. Really? <laughs> that baby had a baby, and really? it, well, and it uh, broke the internet because people like me Can I say something? Had a baby. Yeah. Uh, that <clears throat> I'm hoping it's not still a baby. <clears throat> the oh, baby? my God. What if it oh. just had the head, like on weird. the show? Just the head. The weird thing is her head looks the same. Wow. That is pretty cool. Oh, does she? Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. No, it's a great little, show. A little Teletubbies girl. is the anti Barney. Little British oh, yes. baby. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah, it was Barney, great. Barney was a cult that was trying to destroy your child. It was like Scientology. It was yes. saying, "Yep, Barney was saying, uh, I am your family." Right. Yeah. It's also, Barney was everything terrifying. about Barney was a real family. Everything yeah. about Barney was, you know, a dinosaur talking. About, how many dinosaurs have you seen before? How many? Everything that you'd seen before, songs you'd heard before, mm-hmm. public yeah. domain things you'd heard all, before, all free, all. Boring, yeah. all the same. Teletubbies was nothing you've ever seen. No. By the way, my oh, my yeah. big pet peeve about Barney was the acting of the children. <laughs> <laughs> Demi Lovato. I actually, right? a lot of people don't agree That's with me. Right. It, was, it was terrible. They were terrible. They were, they were bad. terrible, like actors. They were big. I yeah. big. I wouldn't, yeah. uh, big. I wouldn't let our daughter, your goddaughter, watch uh, yeah. Barney. Well, listen to this. My, my, I my love son? you. I you love me. We're a happy family. See, already. That's uh, a cult they've message. They've lost me. They've lost That's me already. That's a cult message. You don't need your your family. I'm we're your family. I love you. Oh, I'll pay yeah. for it. Eben, yeah. Eben the Tell lawyer, will get all my back no, if I say anything. Public Tubbies reminded me of uh, Barbara Papa. Remember? Yeah, but they don't know that. Well, yeah, yeah. Remember it was a, a Swedish. Was it nope. Swedish or something? It was like was a, a globby kind of. Uh, yeah, I was kind of. Oh, you're talking about Jackie. Oh, see, Dave does Barbara know. Papa? He's just saying that. I don't know what you're talking. No. About. <laughs> is that not? Is that just a Quebec? What is Barbara? You know. You know. I'll accept the meandering of the show. Yeah, uh-huh. but the nonsense. <laughs> you have to stop the nonsense. You know what, Jake Hogan? <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I that's all. That's it. all she's got, though. Everyone that. calls me Jake Hogan. Uh, Jake Hogan. Yeah. Jake Hogan. No. Or Hogan. Jake Hogan. Yeah, Jake, all right, Jake, yeah, Jake Hogan. Jake that's Hogan. fine. But I call you. Hogan. I call you Jogan. That's Which mine. I think is the the yeah. greatest. That's name my of you. my couple name. Yes, <laughs> as just me, Jogan. You're Jogan. He's known as Jogan. Yeah. I want to congratulate you on the Pendulette episode. Oh, oh, did that, which oh, was that did run, didn't it? Amazing. Yeah. Oh, and has of course you. stopped me from telling all my Siegfried and Roy stories. <laughs> oh, yeah. They've already been told. Yeah, right, yeah. He, right, he yeah, went yeah. to town on that. Yeah. he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was fun. Well, uh, my favorite thing about that, just to rehash it slightly, was how he was called by by them yeah. when he yeah. got hurt. We need you to the public. Yeah, right. to the press. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That that, that is a society and, of and magicians. to lead the, the prayer the prayer circle. Yeah, you know, yeah. I have the atheist, atheist. leave this present. I had no idea of any of that stuff. I thought yeah. that was fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was yeah. a great episode. It was a great episode. And I didn't know Thank he was you. a bass player. That's something else I learned, that he was a very accomplished bass player. Apparently a lot. people knew that. Mm-hmm. And here's a weird thing. I, I've met him many times and still didn't realize how tall he was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
Well, you, you were wearing your platform boots. Yeah. That might have oh, well, been the there first time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, I, you you don't know you don't realize that uh, Teller is actually over six feet tall. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Yeah, he's no. not he's not a short guy, but you always think of Teller as being this little is Teller guy. That big, really? Yeah, he's about six feet did tall. He say? No, yeah, how tall he was, but not six feet. He said he's about six feet tall. That's he can't amazing. be that tall. Well, he's six nine, I think. Wasn't he something six, bizarre? Seven. No, six, Penn seven. Penn yeah. is six seven. Six seven. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Geez, that's and also he's very very I thought fit you were now, six, seven. so he's he looks even taller yeah. because yeah, he's no, leaner. Yeah, that's why I yeah. that's why I don't look taller. Because if you, yeah, if you lost weight, you'd look so tall. Really, really, tall. yeah. Mm -hmm. I gotta try that. Yeah, and I'd walk in a trench. <laughs> Oops, already. Add. All right, add. Well, as you may or may not know, some of you may or may not receive an ad in a moment. Uh, we have no idea which of you will. If it has a lot to do with the life you've led. Mm. Um, You're going to have a lot to think about after yeah, this. It's a lot like, kar it's like karma. Yeah. It's like the karmic wheel. So depending on where you are on that karmic wheel, you may or may not receive an ad for a good or a service. So that was for the greatest hits of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, yes. I bought one. Mm -hmm. I got it. Yep. I, was I made Chrissy Blood, do sweat, it. Tears. That would have been funnier. <laughs> what? Blood, Sweat, and Tears is funnier. Yeah. Oh, let's Too late do it again. now. Let's do it again. Too late now. No. Nope. <laughs> Let me do it in ad. That was an ad for ad. Ad. I have very many. I have a lot of questions for Jogan. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I'm <laughs> for, Hollywood royalty. For Jay Jokovic. You, know. you are. You are. <laughs> I'm Pretty Hollywood now. royalty. So any question about show business, but when I you, can answer. But when you, when you talk to Canadians, yes. uh, Hollywood was as far away as anything could be. The moon to sure. us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the fact yeah. that you as a child grew up here, we're living amongst all the, not just in Hollywood, just there are millions of people that live here that aren't in show business. Yeah. That's not true. They, yeah, they're just here for no good reason. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I don't. I don't actually it's think that's true. true yeah, Some it's of, true. Yeah, it's true. I don't I'm, think so. I'm just work here. Okay, well, yeah. I agree to disagree. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. point B. Yeah. What's I want just a random memory, a childhood weird celebrity based memory from uh, you. One time, uh, uh, apropos of nothing, I was home, I was 11 years old, and knocked on the door uh, was Ruth Buzzy, who was lost. Oh, my God. Oh, my just God. Just lost. That's exactly what I'm looking okay, for. There you go. And, That's just one. And did, of, you, did you help her? Kind of. I didn't really need to drive, and I didn't yeah. have a lot of directions, but yeah. I kind of helped her going where yeah. she wanted to go in Encino. You said, go out, go out to the corner and ask Paul Lynn where to yeah. go. Did you, you lived in Encino? in Encino? I lived. Did you live south of the boulevard? Yeah. Near yeah. the jack. Wow. Yeah. Did you have a mid-century home? Did you have a wall of glass? We did. We didn't have a wall of glass, but we had sort of mid-century homes. Did you have a pool? How we many How pool. many Jackson family members would you run into? Back okay, so specifically, <laughs> all the Jacksons have been to my house when I growing up. Every uh, single one what? of them. What? Including? They all, in, Michael oh. and Janet and all the brothers LaToya? and Reba and LaToya and wow. all of them because my father was an executive producer of the Jacksons <gasps> summer show. Oh, and I so we had, a, we had a premiere party and uh, at our house and they all showed up and they all came. Even the dad? Even Joe. Oh, okay. Yep. Wow. And he was very wow. nice. He didn't abuse me at any particular time. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. You're just, wow. yeah, you're the boss's kid. Who was the most disappointing uh, childhood celebrity moment for you where the person was nothing like you thought they would be? Uh, Bearing in mind that you were an adult when you met me. And it's <laughs> <laughs> No, I was very pleased with meeting Dave. Um, the most uh, disappointing... Or just maybe... I, that's a bad word. I don't... Th here's, here's, here's what I will no. say. Nothing... Not disappointing, but it's interesting to grow up uh, where people are celebrities and then you see that people stop being celebrities. Mm -hmm. Where when you're seven or eight <clears throat> years old and your dad works with Carol Burnett show, knowing Lyle Wagner is a big deal. Yeah. And then uh, by the time you're 15, knowing Lyle Wagner's not a big deal. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it wow. doesn't matter. So it's like it goes. You see how so the fame comes and goes. Right. Did you, it's really a. Did you go to thing. tapings ever? All the time. I was really? on the Carl Burnett show. <gasps> I was on what? the Carl I used to ask questions. You know, you would ask questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were, were you a boy in the audience? I was a boy in the audience question? asking a question. Oh and then I, she brought, Carol actually brought me on stage oh one time God. in my Cub Scout uniform oh. because we were giving her a plaque. I feel like I've seen wow. it. Oh what was is your it, question, by the way? Do you remember? Maybe. Oh, my question is like uh, some kiss ass kind of like, you're the greatest. And how come all the kids can't stay up to watch you or something like that? Right. You adorable. Like, you didn't say it like that. You I'm adorable. sure I did. That's like terrible. a kid on Barney. Exactly that. <laughs> 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 you're the greatest. That was awful. Yeah, it was really not good. Wow. Uh, but, but I did. I was, I was on some TV. Show. I was on the, the Dean Martin show. 
<laughs> variety show? Did you, wow. did you see Did you see Gold Diggers? Did you see Gold yeah. Diggers up close? I saw Gold Diggers. Oh, wow. Uh, my sister was picked up by Dennis Weaver and they had sung to a Christmas Wee- song. By yeah. Dennis Weaver. By Dennis Weaver. Dean song. and Dennis yeah. Weaver Cloud. sang a duet together. I didn't know du- what? Sang. Wait, you, what? Sang a duet together? Sang a duet, a Christmas duet was together. Was it country style because it's Dennis Weaver? No. Hmm? It was just straight up <laughs> Dean Martin style Christmas song. And whatever it was, they had a whole kid. So they had all the writers bring their kids. And I sat with all the, the kids of the writers and stars. It's so interesting wow. to me that to be a celebrity back in the day, you were expected to maybe do a song at some point, yeah. even if that's your ultimate nightmare, correct? I think like, so. Like, does Dennis Weaver like singing, do you think? Probably not, but he was on <laughs> a show I would, I would at NBC, on and he was on a, on a, a mystery show at NBC, and they what? said, okay, cloud. 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 He rode a horse. You're going to do advertising by being on the Dean Martin show, so do whatever they tell you. So that's what right. he did. Yep. Wow. Wow. I think it's amazing. Yeah, I have some good stories. I was uh, once kissed deeply by Altavis Davis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's Altavis Davis? 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 Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. Is she a babysitter? Wow. Creepy. So she t- that is like, well, like tongue, 16 like years tongue. old. Uh-huh. 16? Oh, my God. 16. She tongued you. Yeah. Oh. Did you ever run All into right. Ken Daly at any point when you were a child? <laughs> and was he wearing knee I, I socks? I knew him when I was 16. Did you really? Of course. Did you and Ken knew each other? Yeah. Oh, my God. Of and he was, an, was he an actor still he, at this point? He was point? an actor, but he was going to Beverly High. Uh-huh. And he was and dating a girl. did you go to Beverly High? No. He was dating a girl that went to my high school, Birmingham High School. Uh-huh. So I, we, we crossed paths, and I knew him, and I knew a bunch of other kids from Beverly. Oh. I didn't know Ken Daly was a child actor. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He yeah, did a lot of commercials, time. a lot of TV shows. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the best thing about Ken Daly are the photos of... of Well, he grew up in Vegas. With the knee socks as a child. He used to put him in a suit. Yeah. Mother would dress him in shorts. His father and mother dressed him real fancy. Yeah. Real Lord Fauntleroy. Just like, it makes me so happy. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't make Ken happy. No, but you know what? (laughs) I think it makes him happy now. Now he likes it, sure. Appreciates it But I think he looks back and says that was a little bit weird. Yeah. Wow. When you do your shows, when you, you know, write, when you, when you, you know, when you create and write a television, a, a television, television show, program, mm-hmm. do you ever go through the Rolodex of old actors that you've met that we've forgotten me. about me. <laughs> besides Jackie Harris that, a lot. that you want to like bring that you, you want to do a John Travolta thing with them where all of a sudden they're back and relevant? I do try to, you know, get people I think are great and always try to cast them. And then usually I get flack from whatever network. Right. They don't I'm want doing, They don't want them. No, hmm. no. They barely want me. So I, you know, I'm not going to argue too bad. Hmm. But yeah. It is amazing when they bring somebody back. And you, that you forgot about that. Yeah. And you yeah. realize they're still the same person. Well, I worked with like Cesar Romero once. I worked with wow, Ernest Borgnine. Cool. I worked with like really sort of cool older guys. Yeah. All dead now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Can't bring them back. Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah, you no. think that, like that they, we're getting old. Well, yeah. It's like, well, I remember on, my sh- on, on news radio, we had John Ritter on mm-hmm. before his comeback. Right. You know, before yes. Sling Blade. And, yeah. and it was one of those things. Yeah. It was like he was, we were all excited to have John Ritter there, but it was like, you know, he, uh, you know, he hadn't really done anything in a long time. Right. He, since that, he had that one hour show. Yeah, he's yeah. Superman. Oh, right. Um, very, very Father funny. Dowling Mysteries. Yes. <laughs> Who was yeah. Father Dowling Mysteries? That was, that was uh, Tom Bosley. Tom Bosley. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking right. the other day, just thinking about the fact Who Jay that, knows that in the 80s, you had he every- He me once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like in the, you had everyone who had a comedy show in the, the 60s doing one-hour dramas in the 80s. Yes. Like Dick Van Dyke had his- Diagnosis murder yes. and, oh, yeah. and yeah. Uh, Andy Griffith had, uh, was it Barnaby? No, no, that was the other one. Mm-hmm. That was that Buddy Epson. You know, our oh, yeah. friend Dana yeah. Gould just recently sent, I just got a the simple email from him with a link to a YouTube <laughs> video. And all it said was, I found it. And it was <laughs> the Paul Lynn show. Oh, when ah, Paul Lynn well, played you know, a straight, a, that Paul job. Lynn played a straight uh, husband and a family. Mm-hmm. And everything. With, a, with a daughter who had a hippie. Lived with her hippie yes, husband. Yes, exactly. In the it was, it was like a, all in the on family. On a water bed. Like all in the family. It was an all in family version, and he was Paul Lynn. Paul Lynn. And he was like, My wife, it's crazy. And it but was I've told you, really my, my favorite thing about that show was his catchphrase. Uh, when everything, when oh, things would be yeah. too much for him say. to handle, mm-hmm. he would go, oh, my, my knees, knees have locked. <laughs> <laughs> that was his catchphrase. He did. My knees have locked. <laughs> and he was clapping. Anyway, it was it was a piece of history that yeah. show. I thought it was fascinating. Everybody, yeah. you know, his wife, his wife would have a martini for him yeah. when he got home from work. The way the way women did back yeah. then. Yeah. Still do. Yeah. 
Mm. Not, I mean, not in my house. That's not happening. I think our no. our friend Tracy probably still does that. I bet. Mm. But yeah. <laughs> Only I think she just cracks open yeah. a beer. But I think <laughs> that, that all those guys having those hour long uh, dramas was like twenty years after their big hit shows in the sixties. Mm-hmm. Bad exchange though. Bad life exchange, right? Yeah. From <laughs> right. from sitcom, from to, sitcom one hour, to one hour. Yeah. Yeah. The amount of work yeah. you all of a sudden yeah. have exactly. to do is You're like you're there twenty four seven. You must really yeah. want to work. I but in those days, production values were pretty low. <laughs> That's <true>. Well, <laughs> car chases were very slow. Yeah. Yes. But I think and that one I'm, shot. I'm more than 20 years from my old sitcom. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, no, you're, you're waiting well, for your hour drama. Yeah, I'm waiting for my hour, hour drama. drama. You should already Why, be doing it. Shouldn't I be doing that? Yeah. yeah, I should be solving murders for old people. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. Yep. The Forgotten. I, I think that's like, doesn't showbiz owe me that? <laughs> I'm not sure what Did showbiz you, this owns anyone. Oh, read your, read come your on. Con, read your contract. <laughs> yeah. It's probably yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah. When I, yeah, so th- yeah. 20 years after this show fails. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, when you watch those old shows, like those old one hours, it's really shocking how bad they are. Like how yeah. they, I feel like writers, not to say you're, I, I'm talking, not talking you're looking comedy. Looking at me talking about how one hour dramas yeah, yeah. are bad. Well, yeah. I didn't do it. No. <laughs> I didn't make them. But I'm just I saying. I watched them. I feel like, did they not, whether they just didn't have to try as hard as yeah. they do now. They, well, they just, still don't. I just watched uh, uh, CS, NCIS or whatever, and that, that they're pretty shitty shows too. Right. They just don't Well, yeah, but, the, but they have a lot of camera angles now. <laughs> they do have right. a lot of lighting. The worst mysteries yeah. of all time. <laughs> yeah, like, but they have lots of lighting. The person you think did it. Did it. Did it. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's well, Chapo well, is coming. We yeah. think he's responsible yeah. for this murder. <laughs> Turns out he is. Yeah. Well, my, you know, people don't like to be surprised anymore. I, my people favorite. Like some predictability. Well, I do love the fact that whenever they there's one stunt casted part in all those shows that shows up for a second at the beginning and then they end up being the killer at the end and they're the one famous person in the cast. Doing the thing, yeah, that always gives it away. Sure, doesn't it? But they don't well, care. Well, that's why the great thing about about Columbo was that you saw the actual I murder in the opening scene, and there mm-hmm. was never any uh, right. But here's the: we're all showbiz professionals. Thing. We are all showbiz professionals. We've all that. made TV shows and we tried have. to watch them with our friends and family. And do we notice that when we do this, nobody pays attention? <laughs> that people are eating sandwiches and yeah. talking and things. That's how people watch TV. Even when they're having a premiere of a, a special episode. With someone they love. Over, with someone they love. They're still sure. just talking about, you know, the traffic was bad and everything. <laughs> so that's this is TV made for people not paying attention. That's right. It's, right. it's yeah. made for stuff to do to fill up when you're not doing anything. Exactly right. Yeah. Or to go to sleep to. You know what? Albert Brooks once came over to my house when I was a kid. That was oh, cool. that's yeah. how was that? It was okay. What about he was trying Steve to get Martin? in the pants of this lady that we were friendly with? So. Oh yeah. yeah, well yeah. How friendly about, were you? And then with years him? later, you went to work for him. Exactly. Uh, yeah, we were. Uh, she, we, the family. She was a family friend. What did you yeah. work with uh, Albert Brooks on? Was it Ruth Buzzy? Uh, it wasn't Ruth Buzzy. <laughs> <laughs> it was an actress named Julie Parrish, who is now uh, no longer with us. Uh, um, but uh, uh, I, Albert worked on The Simpsons when I was first there and uh, also worked briefly at the Tracy Ullman. My very first week as a writer on the Tracy Ullman show, Albert Brooks was in the writer's room just hanging out. Wow. And I yeah. thought, I thought, when I, my dad's a writer. I've known that people don't just hang out in the writer's room. And <laughs> he was just hanging just out. Come and hang out. Do you know just why? Hang, well, he's friendly with Jim Brooks, who was the right. executive yeah. producer. And he was just, mm-hmm. I guess, looking for something to do and just hanging mm-hmm. out. And so my partner and I, Wally and I, we just played it cool and like, Mm-hmm. Hey, Wolodarsky, everyone. Albert Brooks is in the room. We're going to be cool. We're going to be cool. And then about three days in, when we were walking to see a rehearsal, I sidle up to Albert and I say, I just want to say, it's so cool to be sitting in a room with you. You're so funny. And I've been such a big fan. And he proceeded to scream at me <laughs> at the top of his lungs. What do you want me to do? A routine for you? Do you want me to? <laughs> Seriously angry that I sort of outed him as Albert Brooks, a star, and not just a guy in a writer's room. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Well, that, that didn't go Did he have a thought. mustache on? Like, was he undercover no, or something? No, he was, he looked like Albert Brooks. And Sunglasses? he talked like Albert Brooks. He was yeah. unmistakably Albert Brooks. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So Scree at the top of his lungs. Strange. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. He did, you know his, did you know his brother as well? <laughs> I did. Bob Einstein. Yeah. Sure. No longer with us. No right? longer with us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> is one funnier than the other? Oh, I think Albert Brooks is much funnier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. by a long shot. You know, shot. you run into people that go, "Oh, he's the Albert, funny brother." He, Albert Brooks might not be nice, but he is funnier than just about everybody. Yes, yeah. no, you know. genius, genius. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, his his comedy albums were some of the best. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, Comedy Minus One is a gigantic favorite of mine. Yeah, he didn't do it for me. 
<laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Really? No, she's very picky. Yeah. She's very picky. Who, who's sort the of, comedian who does it for you? Sort of perm you know head. You know, you know who she loves is um. Oh, she's talking about like um, doing Mark, him. Like he didn't. No, do it. Well, it's all one the same. You know her, who, who did it? Her favorite favorite comedian is Mark Russell. <laughs> wow! Who is, wow! Oh, that, who is that? Made who me, is Mark that Russell? That made me old man laugh. Wow! <laughs> that made me. <laughs> Mark who is Mark Russell? It sang political jaunty yeah. songs yeah. on PBS. All the Republicans <laughs> have a blue, 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 blue. <laughs> clinky, clinky, clinky. Oh, I wish yeah. I could say that was who. Yeah. But who did? Who did do it for you? you you're very, uh, Jackie. Very David critical. Cassidy. He's okay. not a comedian. Not a comedian. It was funny. He was, I was fucking the, funny. You watched those shows. I he was, was a brilliant. Partridge Family when I was funny. a kid. Were you? I was. Uh, did you have yes. a thing for Susan Day? Uh, I did. Did you have a thing with Susan Day? No. Mm. How about I was with a Tra- kid. Tracy? Yeah. Was that her uh, Yeah, but after after yeah. Sammy's wife kissed you. Yeah. That... yeah, no, I didn't have a thing with almost anyone. So ever. How old? How old? <laughs> I, got lucky I got married. Who did you did you ever did you ever have a thing and then actually kind of get get something going on with any young actresses? No. As a matter of fact, <laughs> you're startled um, by that. As a matter of fact, had I known all this Me Too stuff was going on for the last thirty years, Uh-oh. I would have been fucking so many actresses. I mean, my God, I didn't know Jay, it was acceptable. I, 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 I mean, it's not acceptable and now. now it's not. But, but, but Jay, for twenty-eight years, I could have been doing it. Jay, I blew you all through the nineties, and I never got a part on the television. Yeah, yeah, I would have remembered be getting yeah, blown think, anywhere in the nineties. Right? You, you could have got yourself some sweet Kelsey Grammer ass. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. Uh, that wasn't. I, I assumed that if you uh, tried to sort of uh, push an actress into sex, uh, you would be. Rep- Reported by someone, and right. then I would, I would, yeah. I would you get in trouble. Right. Get in trouble. So. They, yeah. were, they would right. call the Pope. Uh-huh. They would call the That's SAG right. at least, <laughs> the or Pope agent, SAG. And my people, I'd begin to get in trouble. But yeah. apparently, but you, you know could what? do it. But now you get in trouble. Now you get in trouble. But you get yeah. in trouble from back then. Now, now so you get you in trouble be... for doing things that are nothing. Now you I get know. in trouble for saying yeah. that the I word know. cunt. You can't say the word cunt. Oh man! Oh man! Well, actually, that's one of the rules of this show. You're not allowed to say I don't know if you saw the sign behind you, but this is a cunt. Free zone. zone. <laughs> I, when I first heard the title of your show, I thought it was very sweet. I thought it was like, you don't say. Yeah. Then, <laughs> I thought, oh, that's great. Those guys are really sort of being sweet yeah, and adorable. Like, like we're the two Ronnies. Yeah, yeah. you don't say. Oh, oh Paul, you maybe you don't say. say. I, maybe, it's a, maybe it's a Canadian thing. I love it. Uh, and then when I heard what it was about, I was incredibly offended. You should have been. You're American. Big, well, I'm American. Also, I come from a long line of cunts. And so, <laughs> right, right. Don't we all? You come don't by it naturally. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm pretty offended. I know which Ronnie right. I am. Just so I wanted to know that. <laughs> yeah. It's very clear which Ronnie I you are. I know. I know. Come on. I am yeah. They're both good. Yeah, but I know which both. one I am. Yeah, I you're actually the more famous I'm Ronnie, Ronnie Wood. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie Wood. Was, he was the worst of the that two is, Ronnies. That was the least funny. That was not funny. But the sexy. Yeah, but cool. Yeah. Come the on. Sexy. You ever watch him smoke a cigarette? Yeah. Sure. When Ron, when Ron Wood and Ronnie Lane took Ron, over, I was saying, the two Ronnies. I was trying to pick up two good Ronnies to make the worst <laughs> yeah. the worst two Ronnies yeah. uh, team. Oh, Ronnie Shell's a friend of mine. I don't know if that oh, made yeah. it. Oh. That's and when I growing up, Ronnie Shell was like a big celebrity. Who is Ronnie Shell? I, mean, I, I don't even. You're know gonna who that not is. know who he is. Uh, you ever watch Gomer Pyle? Yes. Yeah. All right. Remember, uh, he had a friend in the barracks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Small guy. Yeah. That was Ronnie Shell. That was <laughs> it. He had, it. Oh. He had kind a, of a rough voice. Wow, you, it, you knew it, him. I talk like this. <laughs> uh, that's sorry. You're thinking of the sergeant, but like, yeah. uh, no, this is the sort of wasn't he kind also of the goofy guy? Was he also guy. Dick Van Dyke's army buddy? Like, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was Dick Van Dyke's army buddy in yeah. the flashback shows. Oh, yeah. that I like that. You know, <laughs> that's the <laughs> character. He was, he was, he was like his corner man in the boxing yeah. match. When you see a picture of Ronnie Show, go, oh yeah, Ronnie Show. Yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, so having grown up in uh, in this industry in this town, the mean streets of Encino, the mean yeah. streets of Encino, mm-hmm. um, the Jewish Riviera. I <laughs> yeah, <called>. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Did you encourage or discourage your son? Your genius to, son. Your genius son to get into Well, business. this is something that, that all of us can talk about because we all have kids who have musical proclivities and yeah. all that stuff and, and, and film proclivities, what, what have you. I, have, uh, I worry a great deal that my son is a musician. And he is actually a musician. He actually has an album coming out. Um, what? It will be, by the time this airs, an album will come out. It's uh, Charlie Kogan, K-O-G-E-N, <laughs> and it's uh, Songs from the Front Seat. And yeah. it will be a big, big uh, 10 uh, song album wow. that he created. Wow. And he fabulous. is fabulous. Such a good songwriter. And he's a great songwriter, a good singer. And oh, I'm so happy for yeah. him. But I am desperately worried that he's going into show business. Yeah. And that, yeah. what will he do? 
And right. he's yeah. about to go away to college. Succeed, so. I hope. He's about um, to go. What are the odds? And very slim. Yeah. Very slim. You know, uh, funny, you, you both have kids who, you know, you're in show business and they were they were interested in yeah. show business. Our kid went in the opposite direction yeah, no as far as, as fast as Likes he could. Likes music, though, plays. Loves but music. music. But, he but was in like, like a jet, not but as then again, I, I've had Jazz band. I have musicians in my family and it's not an easy life. No. You know what I mean? No, my son is going to go to college. Mm-hmm. He'll go for four yeah. years, go to a really nice college. It'll cost us a quarter of a million dollars. He'll mm-hmm. come out and he'll play in a Waffle House. Yeah, and that I, will be or here's the or he'll the, write songs that make him millions of dollars. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe he'll write jingles. You know, I think I bet he'll write uh, pop uh, albums that are like, wonderful, and then he'll Broadway also things. write Broadway musicals. Yeah, I hope so. You I'm know, gonna be good. But for him. here's the thing: I remember being at your house, and just uh, and Charlie was just in the the I guess the the living room playing the piano. And sounding like a concert pianist. Right. <laughs> and I didn't know he played piano. And I went, oh, my God, Charlie, I didn't know you played piano. How long have you been, how long have you been studying piano? And he said, oh, about three months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I, and I, mm-hmm. and I tried to beat him to death with a hall stand. Yeah. <laughs> he was creepy. I remember that. Yeah. yeah right. You yelled yeah. devil child, yeah, devil, devil child. child. We kept hitting devil him. Child, yeah. <laughs> but Alita's <laughs> surely going into show business. She, I mean, yeah. she's in show, but she's, she's an actress, in, she's in professional it, yeah. actress, but she's also a filmmaker. Yes. She's a singer. There's like yeah. no area of art. She's an artist. There's no area of sh- of art she's not interested in. Except for art. Like Except for art. drawing, which she's actually <laughs> quite good at. But <laughs> okay. you, don't, you don't do that until you're successful. So yeah. then right. you get into paintings and you start So what, paintings. Do, what are you guys going to do? Uh, I mean, you know. I guess we're going to We're going to steal her, her money. Right. Um, yeah. You know. Does she have a Coogan account? Yeah. Yes, of yeah. course. Yeah. How do you get, get into Coogan. those? How do you <laughs> <laughs> I better, mean, she's almost it's 18. It's I think it's a Coogan. It's like, better than a Coogan account. She doesn't know how much is in there, so. No. You no. Know. Mm-hmm. I'm, Charlie's about it's to turn 18, and he gets his Coogan account. Oh, shit. Oh. So we've, we've had one for him, too. So yeah. he's going to get it. He's yeah. going to see. But the thing is, the Coogan account, as you know, yes. are not steel vaults like no. a parent who deposits the check in the Coogan account could easily not deposit the check in the Coogan account there are is that true it is well, now you could, tell them except for no. it is true it's the worst protection yes, of so kids bad, bad parents well no. it's supposed to come from you're talking the Gary Coleman's parents but it doesn't the parents get the check at least I do well, I no. got the check yeah and, we don't and damn it, it went damn right it I did not work I, the system I put it into the Coogan account how, anyway but d- didn't have to no yeah. no yeah. it's true I'm sure it happens all the time yeah Coogan but what is yeah. Jackie Coogan doing with all this money? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Heroin. Oh, yeah. good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What ad? And, oh no no no! You misread no, it. Oh, and I don't want to end. Really? No. I do. Oh, I think I really feel it's over. Oh. <laughs> Are you yeah. feeling that? Are you I feeling fear? I yeah. feel like it's over. No. But a, a successful ending, I would say. Oh, I love yes. it. It's yes. great. I have 85 more show business stories. I was once punched well, in the stomach by BB King. That means you have to come back. What? Punched in the stomach by BB King. Punched in the stomach. Wait, what? stomach. I was punched in the stomach by BB King. Why was that? Did you deserve it? I'm not ending until we hear this. I did deserve it. Okay, let's end on this story. Okay, so he has this very famous guitar called Lucille. Yes. He's dead. Never heard of it. Yeah. I was doing. A, I was a production assistant on a show called the American Music Awards. Uh-huh. Yes, and no, somebody well. told me it was my job to keep the celebrities into the party where the press was. Was it Larry and, Klein? And out of, eh, I'm not yeah. sure. Somebody, it may have been Rack. Oh, uh, Rack. I don't uh, think it's Dick, an important detail, Dick Clark's, Paul. Dick Clark's kid. Dick Clark's kid, Rack. <laughs> it's not an so, important detail, Paul. I like Paul. it, though. And I, was, I had to guard the dressing rooms and stop people from going back to their dressing rooms. They had to stay out. And B.B. King wanted to go back to his dressing room and get his guitar and leave. And I said, Mr. King, I'm sorry. But you <laughs> you stopped him? <laughs> you can't go back there. And he said, well, I want to go back in and I will get my guitar. Your guitar is safe back there, but uh, the celebrities are not allowed to go back there right now. It's, I want to go back in. And, get, and on the third... <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. King. He took his fist and he punched me in the stomach and lifted me with his fist. <laughs> over here, like picked me up and set me down with his fist and walked in and got his guitar. Well, wow. Oh, oh that's a you great totally story. Totally did that. Did it. That, that wow. did it. Yeah. That, well, that's fantastic. Hollywood royalty. With that great story. Amazing. That's really great. Uh, I guess we'll say that until uh, we show. Oh, no, that's right. We have to say no. this part. Say stuff. We want to thank uh, let's people. Think, let's people. Think. I want to thank, thank uh, Jake, 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 Jake Hogan. Hogan. Jake Hogan. Uh, Jogan showed up. Jake Hogan, the most that. hated man in Hollywood. Yep. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. I'm for thrilled being to here. be here, by the way. I will, from your first show, I wanted to be a guest. I was complaining <laughs> I about that. And now I'm here. He kept thinking yes, you guys had vocal. say. And I but found we've been telling said, people hey. about the one person more hated than OJ, and, and here you are. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. And um, and we also want to thank the people who helped us get this show uh, made today, which is Dustin Knaus. Uh And uh, yes, you're right. That is not how it should be pronounced. Uh, Lauren Afnir, <laughs> Kaylin Rushing, and Hazel Tito. Mm. Cast media. Yeah. Subscribe on iTunes and Stiger, Spotify, etc. <laughs> also on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I don't say Paul Dave. This excellent. might be a good time to mention that Paul uh, does not speak English. <laughs> no, really? He speaks fancy old yeah, timing. We just, uh, oh yeah, he, everything he says, we've taught him to say phonetically. Yes. <laughs> you don't know how It's so much work. Yeah. He does, what, even what he's saying right now, he no. has no idea what we, it means. We rehearsed this part. No clue. Yeah. <laughs> No, it makes it like sound pretty natural, better. though. Yeah. Seems like you could do better. It's, it's, you know what? It's a phenomenal waste of time. <laughs> uh, so, with that, until next time. See you next Tuesday.